fellow explorers, we're on a road trip through California's Central Valley, the heart of California, which is home to almonds. 80% of the world's almonds are actually produced here in California's Central Valley. And so in this video, we're gonna show you all the different almond delicacies you can get in this region where they grow them. And we are starting at Rodine Farms farm stand in Modesto, California. This is a working family owned second generation farm. They've got the almond trees right behind and then they sell their almonds right in front. They've got over 30 varieties of almonds and the first one we're gonna sample are the butter toffee almonds. I've actually been here before and these are my favorite. What I love about the almonds here, mm, they're really good, is they taste just really natural. Many almonds that you get taste super processed, super artificial, but it just has a nice crunch to it, buttery taste, then that toffee sweetness. Another flavor, I haven't had this one yet because they were sold out last time. These are maple toffee almonds. I love maple syrup. Mmm, and these are sweet. If you've got a sweet tooth, you'll like these. Um, for people who don't have a sweet tooth, let's check out their onion and garlic almonds. Mmm, it tastes a little bit I like a sour cream and onion potato chip, except in an almond. Pretty good, too. Hey, when you're at this farm stand, they got tons of fruit here as well. They got tons of dried things. And if you're here in almond season, Definitely check out the almond blossoms because they let you walk in it. If you are here during almond season, you'll want to watch my video all about the almond blossoms, but you'll find a link to that in the description below. Let's head out to the next farm stand. It's almond time. This is a taste of the Central Valley in one bite orange honey almonds at the California Fruit Depot known for their oranges. Well, the almond, it's, it's pretty tasty. Now these farm stands, in addition to almonds, all have different things they sell too. Oranges are super popular here. They grow their own oranges. They have a couple of varieties of oranges. The navel oranges are my favorite and super sweet. And they keep them cut right in the refrigerator right there. So you can come in and taste them for yourself. They also have some interesting dried fruit and vegetables. This is an okra chip. Wow, it's quite tasty. They've also got orange citrus honey from their groves. This is a good honey taste, just a little tiny hint of citrus. And if orange honey almonds aren't your style, they've got 14 other flavors to delight. So in addition to flavored almonds, chocolate covered almonds, you can also get really natural almonds here in the Central Valley. Since this is where they grow them, this is a great source for natural almonds. We are here at Naturally Nuts in Visali, California that specializes in natural nuts. And I've got three types of almonds and two almond butters that we're gonna try here. So let's come and take a look at these almonds. First almonds, these are just, these are just almonds. These are almonds. They're not roasted, they're not processed. They're pasteurized to kill the bugs. And if you go to a store and you get almonds, you're likely getting a pasteurized almond. Now, you can also get roasted almonds. What do roasted almonds taste like? Kind of like the difference between bread and toast. So they're cooked, which makes them a little crunchier and a little lighter. There's less moisture content in them when they roast them, so they're drier. You can also get blanched almonds. Blanched almonds, while you can eat them, do like this, they're typically used for cooking. Our Chinese cuisine uses this. If you're going to your local supermarket, you likely won't find this in the nut section. You'll find it in the cooking section. Now, almonds can also be made into butter. And we got two types of butter here. This is the roasted almond butter. So this is butter that's made from the roasted almonds, kind of like peanut butter. And here at Naturally Nuts, they roast the almonds themselves and they make the nut butters fresh. So if you come in, they will press it, grind it for you, and give you a little jar of butter. You can use almond butter anywhere that you use peanut butter. And what's really neat about almond butter, unlike peanut butter, there's no sugar, there's no additives. This is literally just almonds that's been pressed because of the oil in the almonds makes it buttery. And here at Naturally Nuts, they roast it a little less. So if you've seen almond butter in the store, sometimes it looks a little darker. That's a stronger flavor. This one, medium roast, lighter flavor. You'll find this with salt and without salt. And now this one, this is almond butter made with the unroasted almonds. So you can see it makes it a little lighter. How's this one taste? It's a little more watery. It's a little creamier. It doesn't have that roasted flavor. Let me tell you, they're all pretty good. I probably wouldn't snack on the blanched ones by themselves, but I would 
on all these. And I think my next peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I think I'm gonna make with almond butter. At Robert's Ferry Gourmet in Oakdale and Robert's Ferry, California, this shop started life as a confectionery store selling nuts and also selling almond popcorns, like almond caramel popcorn. But about 30 years ago, they were looking to do something different. They were looking for things to make with their almonds. And they said, hey, what if we make a milkshake and put almond butter in, in it? And so 30, for 30 years, they've been making these milkshakes hand scooped ice cream, a scoop of almond butter, milk, whipped cream on top. It's super thick. They have to scoop it out with a spoon. You definitely want a spoon when you eat this. And let's try that. Almond butter milkshake, it's good. You can get it in vanilla, you can get it in chocolate. When they first opened this location in Oakdale, they sold a hundred of these almond butter milkshakes one day. That's how people, how excited people were to get these shakes. I say that because the original location, Robert's Ferry, it's actually located on an almond orchard. It's a little bit out in the country. So this location in Oakdale, pretty close to Modesto if you're doing the Almond Blossom Cruise. In Yolo County, just to the west of Sacramento, an almond delicacy at Seca Hills Olive Mill and Tasting Room are almond cookies and olive oil ice cream. Come in and take a closer look at this. These are cookies with almonds on top and then you can see the ice cream has olive oil in it. They make these once a year. They make these once a year for the almond festival, which is always the last weekend in February. So if you wanna get these, put that on your calendar, come out for the festival, give these a go. But I'm gonna give these a go because we're here during almond season. Pretty excited to try this. I've never had a almond cookie and olive oil ice cream. Mmm. So good. But I think I had a bite that didn't have a ton of olive oil. So I'm gonna have this one where I can see the olive oil right on the front. Mmm. 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 Now I got a good bite of the olive oil. And you might think olive oil is weird on ice cream, but it actually tastes pretty good. And the almond cookies, here's something I might typically get at a Chinese restaurant, after a Chinese restaurant, almond cookie, but they pair really well together. Fellow explorers, maybe if you all come to the Almond Festival and you love these things so much and you buy them out, they'll have no choice but to make them all year round. Or maybe not, maybe they want to keep them special just for the Almond Festival. Hmm, tasty. So now when you come out to Seca Hills, in addition to seeing the almond blossoms, definitely check out their olive oils because they have the full range of olive oil. And if you haven't tasted really high quality olive oil, they can be pungent, they can be buttery, and they've got all that here. But what's also cool in their tasting room, just on the side of it, you can see where they make it all. This is where they bottle it. They've got 100,000 gallons that they can store on site, and then they make it from olives into the actual olive oil right here. So it's actually a pretty cool attraction to stop at just in and of itself, even if the almonds aren't blossoming. Another delicious almond delicacy in the Central Valley is the original almond cheese pie at the Hillmar Cheese Visitor Center. Why is it a pie? It looks like a cake. I don't know. But the crust is made with graham crackers, butter, and almonds. There's actually sliced almonds in this crust. Four bucks, you get it here at the Visitor Center. Kind of a neat place to visit in general, but let's give this a try with the almond crush. It's cheesy. I've had some cheesecakes that don't taste like cheese. And let me tell you, this one tastes like cheese. Mm. You would expect that since we're in a cheese shop, but since we're talking about almonds, and who does this? Who just eats crust? But I'm just gonna eat crust because we're talking about almonds. Hmm. I like the crust, it has a, a lot of cheesecake crust is like super dry and it seems like it's just there to hold up the cheese, but this has a bit more texture to it and you get a little bit of that crunch from the almonds as well. If you want to make this cheesecake yourself and you happen to be here in Hillmar, California, you can pick up the Gina Marie cheese from that case right behind me. That's what about 80% of this filling is made out of. Charlie Princess, would you like to try some? She wants to try some. Let's give it a go. Shoes. Mmm! How's cheese? Is it Gouda? 
Gouda. You can see this one's Traveling Princess approved. Now, one place in the Central Valley that you can get lots of almonds in one spot is Blue Diamond. Come inside, I wanna show you around. Blue Diamond is one of the country's largest almond manufacturers of almond products, and there's a ton all in one spot. This is stuff that you will typically see in your supermarket. You will see Blue Diamond cans of almonds, which they have here, but they also have a lot of unique items that I wanna show you. The first one that I wanna show you, this is something they only sell at this store right now. This is Blue Diamond almond butter coated popcorn. They are testing this out here at the store, and if people love it, then they're gonna make it. So you can get things here, you can't get anywhere else. I'm gonna try this in just a little bit to tell you what this tastes like, but I wanna show you back here. But first things first, this is the almond corner. These are the almond cans you'll typically see in your supermarket, but they've got some here that I've actually never seen before, which are their extremes that they've got in different flavors, really spicy flavors. They tell me ghost pepper is one of the most popular. So let's go ahead and open up the ghost pepper and see how these ghost pepper spicy almonds taste. I've never had a ghost pepper almond. You can see they're reddish. And let's go ahead and dive into a ghost pepper almond. Crunchy, salty, spicy. The spicy comes on later. That is quite a spicy almond. It's probably not as spicy if you just bite into a ghost pepper by itself, but it's definitely the spiciest almond that I've had. It's pretty good. If you like spicy things, definitely check out these extremes. Let me show you some of the other things in this shop. Next to the nuts, they've got Almond Breeze Almond Milk, which I could use some now after that spicy ghost pepper. They've got Blue Diamond Almonds Nut Thins, which are crackers that are made out of almonds. Something also new is they've got Blue Diamond Almond Cake Mix. This is cake mix without gluten. You can get the cake mix like that, or you can get it in a little cup where you can just add some water and microwave it and get a cake in a cup. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take some of these over myself because I like cake. I don't like to cook it. Also down here, they've got these big like restaurant packs of almonds. If you want like tons of like, you don't want them roasted, you want whole blanched almonds, you can get that here. There's a few more almond things around the corner I wanna show you. They have a whole section of chocolate and candy covered almonds and these are specially chocolate covered by the Sconza Candy Company, which is another candy company right here in Modesto, just down the road. Next to these, they've got almond wedding cookies. If you want a little cookie, you can get those that are almond flavored. And they've also got some other products from local companies in the region, Robert's Ferry Gourmet, home of the almond milkshake, They've got their almond popcorn right here. Also, they've got some almond soaps made with almond milk. Smells heavenly. And it does, it smells, it smells just like almond milk in a little thing of soap. And finally, if you are into making your face nice, they've got sweet almond oil, not for cooking, but this is for a beauty regime. So they've also got other local products that aren't almonds in particular. They've got Shabika olive oil. This is a producer in Modesto, my favorite olive oil. I really like the garlic flavor. You can pick it up here, you can pick it up at the Shabika store, but if you're in a one-stop shop, why not? Just get it here. Now, as promised, let's check out the almond butter popcorn. Open that up. What's it look like? Oh, this is different. Different than the Robert's Ferry popcorn. These are much more like you can see they're kind of like coated all around in there. So let's go ahead and let's pick up a few of them so you can see them in my hand too. There we go. That's the almond butter popcorn. And I won't do a handful. I'm gonna start with one of these. Mmm, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's buttery with a hint of an almond taste. There's no almonds in it, so it's not like, you're not gonna bite into a nut, but you could easily sit here for a whole movie and eat these. Am I eating too much? They kind of remind me, maybe a new school Cracker Jack. Hey, an extra bonus, these are gluten-free and vegan. So if you're in Modesto, check out the Blue Diamond gift shop. Get the popcorn, get one of their unique items. Let them know if you like it might be at your local supermarket soon. In California Central Valley, you can get a really unique honey. You can get honey that's made from the bees that pollinate the almond trees. Hey, that rhymes. But seriously, we stopped into the hive just west of Sacramento to taste some of this really unique honey. Okay, California almond. This honey is rarely collected. That's why you just don't see it on shelves out there. Um, but it's got a really interesting, light, bitter flavor to it. 
as if mm. you're eating a green almond almost. Mm. Well, the bitterness, like it takes a little while to get the bitterness. Mm -hmm. It was like sweet at the beginning. A note about all the bees that are here. There are a lot of them. And you know what bees like? Yellow shirts. They like yellow shirts. <laughs> if you don't like bees, don't come to the Central Valley. Probably almost any time here in a yellow shirt. Well, fellow explorers, next time you hanker for some nuts, definitely think of all these things that can be made with almonds. And if you come to California Central Valley, we'll definitely check out some of them too. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy watching some of my other videos from this Central California series. You can check out our whole travel vlog when that's out. You can see where the best almond blossoms are. I definitely want to thank the cool people at visitcentralvalley.com and Visit California for making this series possible. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of these videos.